Cleat setup. It's a common question we come across and it's also the starting point that we look at with bike sizing and bike fitting. So the common problems if we see them are riders not knowing where to put their cleats, certainly if they're starting from scratch. Initial setup should be based on being safe and conservative with your adjustability. Now in a perfect world you're looking to position your cleats where they sit beneath the widest point of the foot. Now the widest point of the foot is generally just behind the first metatarsal, so the ball of the foot or the big toe and just in front of the fifth metatarsal. That's where your pedal axle should bisect. Now in order to do that, you're gonna to need to potentially seek out some additional help and support and maybe some, someone else, possibly a bike fitter. But in simple terms, you could try and eyeball that yourself, understand the fore aft nature of how long your arch is versus how how short your toes are and try and approximate that in your shoes. Now trying to put a brand new set of cleats on your shoes is a tricky task. And again, some of the problems I'll often see uh, as a bike fitter is asymmetric cleat setup. Now in a safe world, you wanna be trying to get them set up symmetrically, left and right sides. So that means they should look a mirror image of each other on the sole of the shoes. With a delta cleat, so a three point fixing, which is a common fixing within cycling, uh, particularly in road cycling, um, you're looking to get that rotational fixture uh, centered. So the three bolts on the sole of the shoe should have equidistant left to right in terms of the lateral adjustment and equidistant front to back in terms of the fore-aft adjustment. If those two things are dialed and symmetrical left and right, you should have a pretty safe neutral cleat setup. And beyond that, trying to get that dialed for any possible ailments or discomfort could well be seeking the, the need of a, of a bike fitter or someone that's maybe done some cleat setup before and potentially to assess that in a dynamic fashion because there's lots of factors that play into cleats. But in simple terms, keep it symmetrical, keep it neutral, keep it in the middle of that cleat adjustment to start with.